good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and today i want to show us how to have our foundation designs with csc orion and um, today i'll be showing us how to go about our pad foundation with orion building design six step and in case you're joining us for the first time i am joshua the designer i create amazing content and tutorials on structural engineering and engineering designs at large and this is where you get structural engineering very very easy so i'd like you to use the subscribe button and you like this video also you can share with your friends and your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering and do well to use the notification bell because we'll be dropping content often and so that you'll be the first to catch it once it drops yes so today we go ahead with what we want to have very simple but then you need to pay attention to what we'll be doing in a little while okay so this is the project and um, i believe in the last few tutorials on CSA orion i showed to us how to model this kind of structure and how to go about the building analysis to have your slab designs your column designs as it may so today i want to show you how to go about your foundation designs in a very simple way and but today this tutorial will be restricted to part foundation so in other tutorials subsequent tutorials we're talking about raft foundation pile foundation and some other yes so straight to what we have to do of course by now you should know that story o is the foundation floor where we have a foundation okay so before we go ahead i am sure that um, before you get to this particular point you should have already done your settings as touching your reinforcement sizes the diameters and the type of reinforcement and and all so to be sure that we've done that let's go ahead to the building analysis and edit materials and see what we have now these foundations can you see i have white 13 and and the likes of which i wouldn't want so i'll take out white 10 I want to use Y12 and possibly Y16. So that that is to say that it is very important for you to always do all these settings before you go ahead so that you can have whatever it is that you intend to have. Okay, that's fine. So we can go ahead and my analysis is up to date so we can go go ahead so to have your part footing is very simple so you can just highlight all your all your columns so that um, you'll be able to do what you have to do okay so by the time you do that you highlight your columns and you can right click then insert part base now you can see that it wants to create typical footings for the selected columns that is it's going to create a particular footing for all of these columns such that it will be typical for every one of them and if you want it to be a square column if you want to restrict your pad footing to be square you click this if you would like to have other shapes like rectangular footing you would make it void like that so but i prefer to make it square footing so i'll press ok now this is a box where we need to pay attention as a designer you should not be ignorant of any detail 
in this place particularly the ones that should give you um, a solution first to the bearing capacity of your of your soil and that will be responsible to give you uh, the correct sizes of the base that you need and the thickness of your base and all okay so let's get into business now the foundation depth as an engineer you you are responsible for every manipulations here or for any alterations so to say in this place so my footing depth i want to use 250 and my allowable stress of the soil i want to use 150 yes yeah, so and i want to use y12 for my reinforcement okay that's cool and so that i'll be able to use the load that i have on these columns so i have to first use maximum loads in all combination okay so that then i can calculate now after the calculation this is my result i have 2.4 meters by 2.4 meters base square base and that is um, bogus you know and it's filled in punching share so it failed now this failure along this punching check here that you see here is as a result of the depth of your footing now if you want to know how true that is let's go back to to where we're coming from and make alteration and see if that's true so i used a 300 something so it still failed along the punching check let's go back and use 450 okay so you can see that you have okay 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 all through and it passed so that is how to maneuver the old stuff so if it fails along the punching check here you should know that the solution will be the depth or the thickness of your pad base so that will help you correct whatever it is that you need on that side yes so i believe you got that clear so if you're satisfied with whatever you have there you can press ok then you have your pad your pad footing so we have this already now we see what we have see what we have okay so that that's cool now that's how to have a pad base in orion how to go about your pad base design in orion so this one has safely given you the dimensions of your pad footing and also the reinforcement that you need there so you can see it provides y12 at 1 to 5 y12 at 1 to 5 and um, every other that you need the depth is 450 and the dimension 2.4 by 2.4 meters okay so that's just how to go about um your pad base on csc orion okay so that's cool and if you have questions or any other thing you would want me to make highlights on particularly on this foundation designs this part foundation design just use the comment section i'll be there to attend to you thank you very much ensure that you like this video you share and you subscribe to this channel thank you very much see you next time bye